All right, I'm gonna walk you through how easy it is to use the OC Gist's Statomic V3 add-on to embed Gist blocks into your articles. So I'm just gonna follow the documentation. The first thing we're gonna do is install the add-on via Composer. And while that's installing, I'll just give you uh, an overview of what I have set up so far. So I have a brand new Statomic V3 site with the Cool Writings starter kit. And you can see I have one article called OC Gist Demo. Click on it and the content currently says empty. And over in my article here in the editor, I have empty. So that's what we're working with. All right, so that installed correctly. The next step in the documentation is to publish the add-ons assets. So I'll copy paste that in. And you can see on the left that that added a github.php config file. There's actually nothing for you to change here. You can leave it as it is. A gist block YAML field set. Uh, again, nothing to change here. This is the default field set for the add on. And then finally, uh, gist content, which is the um, partial that we'll put into our antlers view. All right, so the next step, according to the documentation, is to create a GitHub token. So I have this set up and ready to go. New personal access token. I'm going to call it OC Gist Demo Token, as I've done previously. I'm going to click the Gist Scope, and that is all we need. And then I'm going to generate the token. From there, I'm going to copy paste it into my environment file. I already had it set up, but I'm going to paste a new token here. And I'm going to give it the OC Gist GitHub Token name as prescribed in the documentation. Cool. All right, just two more steps. So next is to add the field set to our barred um, field. So in our article blueprint file, I'm going to find content, which is our barred field. And then I'm going to add the set, which looks like that. So in this case, I didn't have any previous sets. But in your case, you might already have sets for barred. Uh, so then, then in that case, just add this chunk. And so now this will tell barred to um, add a new set called the gist content, and then import the fields from the gist block, which again looks like this. So it adds four fields, uh, two of which are these two, which are hidden, and then you'll be able to type into the code editor and then add an extension. So I'm going to save this file. Um, and then at this point, I just need to update the partial for my templates. So I'm going to copy paste this chunk, throw it into show.antlers. And here, because I had no sets previously, we just need to update this so that Bard is going to use a loop. And I'm going to add a default type for if type equals text. Uh, then we'll do, uh, we'll output text. We'll do text, text with the no parse modifier. And then we'll do an else here. Else, if type is just content, we'll use the just content partial. So that's all we have for the instructions. And then we go back, we'll refresh our editor. We'll say, did this work? And now you can see we have the set to add. We choose gist. We type in some JavaScript, maybe a hello world. Say that's a JS file, and then we'll save that. We'll come back to our view. And that's it. That easy. So now we have embedded gist blocks on our article. And we could even take it a step further. We could add multiple. Maybe we want to put some PHP in here too. Say class. Hello. And that is a PHP file. And we'll save that. And now we have two. And then if we go to that gist, you can see we have a single gist for our article. And then it has two files, one for each code block. So that is how easy it is to get started with the OC gist Statomic add-on. I hope you enjoy it. And I hope it helps you embed code into your articles. Have fun. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, follow me on Twitter at Owen Conti. And I'll see you next time.